Hey everybody, this is Computer Power Guide here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, it's going to be a basic software tweak. It's how to add themes to a media player called VLC Media Player. Now, this is a very popular media player that plays many formats of media, and that's one of the reasons it's really popular. So, uh, the basic theme for VLC Media Player is not that good looking, so some people might want to change it. And in this tutorial, I'm basically going to show you how to change this uh, weird little classic theme into something that you like. Alright, so first we're going to have to download themes, and to do that we're going to have to ha go to the internet. So first open up your web browser and go to the following site, videolan.org. Okay, so this is basically the website for VLC Media Player, and this is where basically you download it, and it also gives you a little information about that. But we're basically going to go from the overview page to the skins page at the top. So right here we're going to click skins. Alright, so now it's going to take you to the skins page of VLC Media Player. And here you see all these really cool looking themes. There's uh, PSP themes, PSP Go, uh, there's all these little classic black themes, and there's a QuickTime theme right there. So there's lots of themes you can download. So I'm just going to download Inspired right here. I think that looks nice. So all you're going to do once you decide is just click on it, click on the thumbnail, and wait for it to load up. Once it loads up, just go to over here where it says download right there and beside it it's going to tell you the file size it's not that big and then it's also going to tell you how many downloads it has so I'm just going to hit download and then it's going to take you it's going to redirect you to a page and then it's going to open up a save as window so you're just going to save it wherever you want and then it's going to open up a zipped folder so you're going to have to have some type of extraction program called uh, something like WinRAR or 7-zip something like that Okay, so go ahead and open up the uh, WinRAR or anything folder, and then you're going to see this right here, inspired.vlt. So what you're going to do, I'm actually going to drag this and it, or extract it to my desktop. So I'm just going to select it and then go up to Extract to, and then select my desktop, and then hit OK. Alright, so once it's on your desktop, you're just going to keep it there. We're not really going to touch that. Next, you're going to want to just launch VLC Media Player. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to actually apply the theme onto VLC Media Player. So once you're on VLC Media Player, you're going to go to Tools, and then go down to Preferences. You can also use the shortcut key, Control and P. Alright, so these are the VLC Media Player preferences, and uh, there's a lot of things you can change, but we're not really interested in that. Over here on the side, we're going to choose Interface from the menu. Okay, so the first one is going to be on Interface by default. And you're going to go right here and a little check that little bubble right there besides skins. And that's going to enable skins. Okay, and then skin file, right next to skin file, you're going to see a little text box. And then besides that, you're going to see browse. So just go ahead and hit browse. And then go to your desktop and go to wherever you saved it. For me, that's right there, inspired.vlt. It's also right there, you can see it. So I'm just going to select inspired.vlt. And then after it found that file, it's just going to save that right there in the text box. You're just going to hit save. And now if you restart VLC Media Player, it's going to start with that new theme. So this theme looks pretty nice. I'm just going to keep it. This was another tutorial by Computer Power Guide, and thanks for watching.